Hi guys, it's Mel from Mel Doggy Scrapping. I am here to do a layout for Mixed Medium Mayhem for week two. Um, and Kathy picked this week. Um, we're not doing a recipe, we're doing a scrap lift. So she picked Julie Taylor's um, layout, this one here, that she did for Bramble Fox. Um, it's a really cool one. I quite like it, but I didn't have the stamps like it, but we'll, we're going to do it our best. So what I've done is I've picked out my photos. I haven't gone quite as small. Um, they're three by not quite four. And I'm also going to be doing this in conjunction with leftovers to layouts um, hop that Kristen is um, doing this month. And what I've used here is it's all old stuff. It is the cardboard that I've backed my photos is, um, I don't know if I can find a bit of, oh no I can't, there's a bit of red, that's the end of the bit of red that I had, and I don't know about the green, I don't even know if there was much left over of the green, so yeah, so it's all about using your layer, uh, your leftovers, your old stuff before you start and buy or get anything new, so now one thing I didn't do before I started is I'm going to use a stencil, not a stamp, at this stage. I'm just going to stamp off up here a bit, like so, because I'm going to use this circle here. I don't want to get any of the rest of it on there, so let's go with that. Okay, I'll just turn that over. Now what I've done is I have sort of put place things where I think I want them to go. This is a really old border that I just cut in half so that I've got one at the top, one at the top, one at the bottom. These are really old out of my ephemera, but I thought, hey, let's pop one onto the side. Um, and we'll yeah, we'll do our um so, right, we need, now I've got to figure out if I can, oh, yeah, I've got the green one there, my red, and there is a purple, okay, so, not that purple, but that purple, I've got a reddish colours flowing here. Yes, I do. Clean it off a bit. That one will do. Right. Okay. I've got a few other bits of ephemera out, but I don't know if I'll use them yet. So I'm going to start off. Actually, I'm going to start off with the red. I oh, know with the purple. All right. So I'm going to do a green over here. We'll do a purple. Let's go over here. I'm going to go like this. Now I've got squiggly lines going down. Oh no, I've done that. I knew I would do that. Oh well. I'll go in a purple one in the middle. Just have to be careful I don't go over. I'll try and find some. That one there. I'll do a, a purple one up in that corner, or up on that side, like so. Right, now we need going to need to clean off the stencil, because I'm going to use the same one. <clears throat> Easy and quick, like so. Back to the side, let's go to green. Right now, the green. Let's pop the green one over here. Let's pop the purple back on because we finished. Let's go here with a green. This green's going to stand out very well, but. Like that. Green over 
hier. I think I need to ring my green. This is a really cool one that Kathy picked. I quite like this one. Uh, purple, purple. I'm going to do a green just down in here. Probably doing more than what Julie had, but. don't have the effect so I'll go with what I can get so let's just go oh I need to wipe green off I'm losing everything on the floor Red over here. This is festive berries. I will tell you the colours in a minute. these on and then we see where they're actually going to sit and then that one's going over here roughly I don't know how I had that that like so Let's just go with that. That's enough for the circles. Um, because I've got to put some little love hearts. If I can find where I put my little love heart, I need a happy day on there. So I'll go. I found the word happy day, so we might just pop happy day down there. Then we might do that in the red. So it's a good good layout to use and start using your stamps. Alright, so I've got happy day. Now what I might do is I've got this little round one and I thought I might just pop a few of these around. Red near the purple. Not purple, not purple, that's right. Purple near the green. Purple near the green. Then the green and the red. That. I'm 
going to need a new groom, I think. So, just so that you know, I've used Seedless Preserve for the purple, Festive Berries for the red, and Mowed Lawn for the green. So let's start. Now I'm going to do some leaves. don't have any other green for those. I'll do. We'll just go those few green leaves. Where's our little brass? Really little hearts. I'm gonna go. Like that with our little hearts. Oops. Now I have I have a butterfly, but I think I might use stickers for the butterfly. We'll see how we go. We might use them. So let's get this stuff stuck down. Oh, I didn't put stuff on that. Stick that down. That's the smallest little heart I've got. Okay, now how do we have that? We have that like have that like that. And then I've got this. And then a bit of foam at the top. So I've got double sided tape and then a bit of foam at the top. I'm going to go up here like so. Get that one on first. Now that I sort of know where it's going. These are um, photos from 2012 when my daughter was really little. I've got a little section up the back that um, she called the jungle. I'm just going to go like that, I think. And um, she used to go up there and play and pretend that she was in a jungle and... Um, so the trees, the leaves were hanging down and there was a little chair up there. The chair's no longer there. And that was a really big, tall poppy I had growing in the back. She used to love going up there. To her jungle, I should call it. So I'm going to go about there. Right, let's take that off and we'll trim Whatever's overhanging. Okay. Just off the edge. It's a bit of that flower. Come to the flower on this one. Right. Okay. Get 
him. And then I'll get some of those pencil lines taken off that will come off. Gee, I was good at that, wasn't I? Got to take the top bits off. Until I didn't have a very good sleep last night. I did gardening yesterday and kind of realised that I had muscles I didn't know I had. They had come back to haunt me. Right, where's our eraser? Always a good idea just to stick pencil lines down so you know where you had it or take a photo of um, now I need to have some flowers out because there is flowers on here I just didn't know whether to put them on or not Liking it without. Um, I'm not exactly, you know, to me it doesn't exactly have to. That one doesn't look. Let's get the title on and then we'll know where we stand with that. I've just got Boo. I don't know if I want the... Flowers, other flowers on there or not. So I might just stick him up on a piece of foam. some of these ones don't think I'm going to be able to get that back up let's have a look oh it's leaves that's not flowers Nice, I have another. I do have another one of those. <clears throat> what about that white and green? Sorry, I'm probably not exactly organised today, am I? 
Another purple. Maybe that one could go over there. with the one extra just go with the one extra and then I put the little gems around just go on like that By all means, if anyone has any comments with anything that I'm doing, please pop them down below in the like in the comments section. Um, it doesn't cost at all, but if you want to know anything about the inks or the stamps that I used, um, the stencil I think was this little one was a Vicky Booten, the print shop. Um, stamp. Uh, the little heart was off a really big stamp set from Craft Online. Like that. Um, this is a Vicky Booten Happy Day. Happy Day. There, like that. Now, she also had some splatters on there as well. Let's stick. I'm just going to go like this. where my flower is I'm just going to do two two flower gems in my two little clusters there now what have we got here left over there's butterflies okay so here's a cute little one One green one. These are just stickers from the cheap shop. I'm gonna go on like that. Alright, now I haven't got splatters in. I've got, I don't have any green, but I've got red and purple. I can do splatters for red and purple. How about that? We do that. Don't want that. We don't want that. Don't need those flowers. Got all those inks there. Splatters and let's finish off with some leaf drops here and there and everywhere. So let's do the splatters first. I already saw it on my number though. I've probably gone a little rogue. I do apologise if it, you know, it, but it's going the similar, similar way of Julie's. So let's just go. Too big. Let's just go like that and like that. Okay, let's get some red. 
So these are just both Kaiser Mists. Uh, uh, candy iridescent spray and lavender iridescent spray. And I'll probably make a mess of my fingers because it's going everywhere. It doesn't come out as easy. Let's just go with that for the splatters. Get a wipe and wipe our fingers before we touch anything. Get all the ink off. Take those off. Okay, that be fun. Now let's get our purple Nuvo. I'll just make some little. Again, it's come to the top. I should have these. So let's just go. I'm just doing it randomly. I'm not anywhere in particular. And I'm happy. All done. So my way of thinking was my squiggly roundness was the trees, branch, little tree branch things hanging down over a face. That's what my thinking was. I just wanted to go with butterflies because I wasn't an Easter picture or anything. So I'll give you a bit of a close up. On the bottom. And that's what I was getting at for her photo in that picture. Okay, so as usual, I've got out too much ephemera for what I need. So I'll be putting that all back. Okay, so now, if you think you might like to have a go at this, press pause, take a screenshot, and by all means, have a go. Um, there will be other people playing along with Mixed Media Mayhem this week. Um, as well as leftovers to lay out and I'll have them all down below in the description box um, If you do like this layout if you could give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it um, If you're new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and joining my subscri Subscribers and helping me grow my channel um, I've actually nearly reached 500 um, I'm doing heaps better than what I thought I would actually do and I'm so enjoying what I'm doing um, and I've actually learnt a lot um, not just in doing this but by watching other people as well so when you go and check out everyone else down below in the description box show them some love um, subscribe to them if you're not already um, it doesn't cost to subscribe, like, or comment to either anyone in the comments, like anyone in the description box, or myself. So it's not going to cost you anything to subscribe to somebody and then be able to watch their videos, get inspiration, and think, hey, I could have a go at that. I reckon I could, I reckon I could do that, but I'd probably do it a bit different. If anyone who knows me by now knows that sometimes with sketches and scrap lifts I go very rogue. Um, half the time I'll turn it so that it fits my photos and that's what you've got to do you've got to look at something and think now are my photos going to fit that hmm let's see and you just turn it to, to the way you want it to to fit at the same time always remember when you're doing something when you're doing a layout doing a card 
there's no right or wrong. It is what you think looks good for you and your photos and you're happy with it. So with saying that, I'm going to go now and I'm going to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm absolutely grateful. And please check out all my friends down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.